Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share my Flutter projects and tutorials. In this video, I will show you how I made a radial bar chart widget using the Sync Fusion Flutter Gauges package. This widget displays the storage usage of different types of files on a device such as documents, videos, photos and music. It also has a nice card design and some text labels to make it more attractive. Let's get started. The second chart of the column widget is a radial bar chart too. First, we need to import the SyncFusion Flutter Gauges package in our pubspec.yaml file. This package provides us with the Ceph radial gauge widget, which is the main component of our radial bar chart. Next, you need to create a radial bar chart 2 class. Now we override the build method of our widget, which returns a card widget. This widget gives our radial bar chart a nice elevation and rounded corners. We set the color and surface tint color properties to white color. We also set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 20. Inside the card widget, we add a padding widget. This adds some space around the edges of our radial bar chart. Then we add a column widget with a cross axis alignment of cross axis alignment dot start. This aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The first child of the column is a row widget which contains two main parts, the radial gauge and the labels. The radial gauge is wrapped in an expanded widget which makes it take up all the available horizontal space. Then we add a sized box widget with a height of 200 and a child of radial gauge. This widget is the core of our radial bar chart and it allows us to customize the axis, pointers, annotations and other aspects of the gauge. This radial gauge widget takes a list of radial axis widgets as its axis property. Each radial axis widget represents a segment of the radial bar chart and it has its own properties such as label offset, pointers, axis line style, start angle, end angle, show ticks, show labels and annotations. We use these properties to adjust the size, color, value and appearance of each segment. For example, the first radial axis widget has a label offset of zero which means that it does not show any labels on the axis. It also has a single pointer of type range pointer which is a filled arc that indicates the value of the segment. We set the value property to 20 which means that the segment covers 20% of the total range. We also set the corner style property to corner style both curve which makes the edges of the segment curved. We set the color property to a custom color with the hexadecimal. We set the width property to 30, which is the thickness of the segment. We also set the axis line style property to an axis line style with a thickness of 30, which matches the width of the pointer. We set the start angle property to 130 and the end angle property to 130, which means that the segment starts and ends at the same angle, creating a circular shape. We set the show ticks property to false and the show labels property to false, which means that we do not show any ticks or labels on the axis. We also add a single annotation of type gauge annotation, which is a widget that can be placed on the gauge. We set the widget property to a text widget with a value of 77%, which is the percentage of the used storage. We set the style property to a text style with a font weight of font weight, bold, a font size of 26, and a color of colors dot gray. We set the position factor property to 0 0.2, which means that the annotation is placed at 20% of the radius. We repeat the same process for the other three radial axis widgets but we change the value, color, start angle, and end angle properties to create different segments. 
We also omit the annotation property for the other segments as we only want to show the percentage for the first segment. After the radial gauge, we add a sized box widget, which adds some horizontal space between the gauge and the labels. Then we add a column widget with a cross-axis alignment of cross-axis alignment start, which aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The children of the column are generated by a list generate method, which takes a length of four and an index parameter. For each index, we return a labels chart method. The underscore labels map is a variable that stores the names and colors of the different types of files that we want to display on our radial bar chart. We use the map data type, which is a collection of key value pairs. The keys are the names of the files such as documents, videos, photos, and music. The values are the colors that we want to use for each segment. This method takes a label and a color as its parameters and it returns a row widget with a small colored square and a text label. We use the underscore labels map that we defined earlier to get the label and the color for each segment. The second child of the column is a sized box widget which adds some vertical space between the radial gauge and the text. Then we add a text widget with a value of storage of your device which is the title of our radial bar chart. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 22 and a font weight of font weight W700 which makes the text larger and bolder. The third child of the column is another size box widget with a height of default padding which adds some more vertical space. Then we add a row widget which contains two main parts, the use storage and the settings icon. The use storage is a column widget with a cross axis alignment of cross axis alignment start which aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The first child of the column is a text widget with a value of use storage which is the subtitle of our radial bar chart. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 16 and a font weight of font weight dot normal, which makes the text smaller and lighter. The second child of the column is a sized box widget, which adds some vertical space. The third child of the column is a row widget, which contains a sized box widget with a width of 70 and a child of stack widget. The stack widget allows us to overlay multiple widgets on top of each other and we use it to create a circular stack of colored containers that represent the different types of files. We use the positioned widget to place each container at a different offset from the left edge, creating a staggered effect. We set the height and width properties of each container to 30 and we set the decoration property to a box decoration with a shape of box shape dot circle and a color that matches the corresponding segment. We also add a text widget with a value of 137 GB, which is the total amount of the used storage. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 26 and a font weight of font weight. 
W900, which makes the text larger and bolder. The second part of the row is an expanded widget with a child of sized box, which makes the row take up all the available horizontal space. Then we add a container widget with a padding of 10 and a decoration of box decoration with a shape of box shape dot circle and a color of colors dot gray. Shade 200, which creates a circular gray background. We set the child property to an icon widget with an icon of icons.settings and a size of 30, which displays a settings icon on the container. And that's it. We have created a radial bar chart widget using the Syncfusion Flutter gauges package. You can see the result on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Flutter tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.